Welcome to Thought for the Day from St John the Evangelist Bromley uh, for Monday the 13th of July and a new series uh, in which we're exploring the story of Joseph and his brothers in the book of Genesis. It's one of my favourite Old Testament stories. I've given it the title, Children of Israel Are Never Alone. And uh, perhaps you'll recognise that's a quotation from that great musical about the story called Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, but it's also a great truth. Children of Israel are never alone. And in today's part of the story, we see in particular the theme of God's presence with his people, even in the worst kind of adversity. Uh, this week's series is a bit of a follow up on last week's when we looked at God's unshakable promises to Abraham and Sarah. Maybe as I read today's passage, uh, you'll uh, notice what's going on there in fulfilment of God's promise. Now, we're only getting a few snapshots in the story. You might want to read the whole thing. So uh, look up Genesis chapter 37 in your Bibles and read all the way through from there to the end of the book. You'll get the story that way. Uh, Joseph has grown up in a, a household where he was the favourite son out of 12. Uh, he was uh, nearly the youngest. He was the 11th uh, in, uh, of uh, 12 sons. And certainly his 10 older brothers hated him and they tried to kill him. His father sent him uh, to check on their work, which was a uh, very rash move by his father, sent Joseph into danger. The brothers tried to kill him. Uh, and then in the, the last moment, really, they changed their mind, but they still sell him into slavery. And he's taken down to Egypt as a slave. And his father's told that he's been killed. Uh, here's what happens next. This is in Genesis chapter 39, beginning at verse 1. Now, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, bought him from the Ishmaelites who'd taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered, and the Lord gave him success in everything he did. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his household, and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. Great theme, isn't it? Blessing. Blessing. Abraham and Sarah were promised that their descendants would be a blessing to all nations. And we get a tiny little bit of that happening here. Joseph, uh, Abraham and Sarah's great grandson, is in Egypt uh, working as a slave. And we're told that his master his, has blessing in his household because of Joseph. Now, that's just a tiny uh, snapshot of what's going to happen later in Joseph's story, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. You have to come back later in the week. But also we notice that even though Joseph has been sold into slavery, he's far from his home. He's got no prospect of ever seeing his family and those who love him again. Nevertheless, God is with him. We told him, we told that in verse two. And then later on, because uh, I'm afraid his time in Potiphar's household comes to a, a sticky end, uh, he's falsely accused of a crime he doesn't commit and he's in, unjustly imprisoned. And yet even in the prison, we're told the same thing. The Lord was with Joseph. It's a great reminder to us that God doesn't desert us even when those who ought to love us do. Joseph was sent into danger by his father. Uh, his life was almost taken away by his brothers. Um, uh, the, the, the man he served faithfully uh, failed to protect him from this unjust accusation. And yet the Lord was with him in all that he did. God's presence absolutely certain and reliable. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much that your presence is trustworthy and reliable. And we thank you that even though Joseph was taken far from his father's house, uh, you were with him all the time, even in uh, the most terrible depths of adversity. Please help us to remember that however bleak our situation, you are with us always and we can trust in you. Amen. Amen. Hope you can come back uh, for the next instalment in the exciting story of Joseph tomorrow. God bless you.